Come on. Come on. Right? Yep. World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. You can tell by the clock that says five o'clock. <laughs> and if you can tell time, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yeah. It if means... you're a physical moron, go ahead and hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, bonjourno. Yep. Today, Poonie. Poonie. What? Poonie. What's Again. that? Yep. Well, it's That's one of okay. my favorite distilleries. That's okay. It's okay to drink a lot of poonie. Ty drinks a lot of poonie. I am a Brings fan. a lot of poonie to the Whiskey Eden's World Headquarters. Well, I'd like to Fort share. Alberta. It's best, you know, whiskey's for sharing. You're damn right it is. Well, let's learn a little bit. Tell us, Ty. Shall we? First, Poonie Distillery is Italy's first whiskey distillery. Oh, and lies my. in South Tyrell Sorry. at the feet of the Italian Alps. The ancient Raetic name is taken from the nearby river Poonie, the pure Alpine water, locally sourced grains, traditional, I think they mean to say Alpine, oh. and they missed a P, but they added the P to Poonie, so Alpine. <laughs> locally, locally sourced grains, traditional copper pot stills from Scotland, and bespoke oh, oh. maturation warehouses are the main elements for the creation of the first Italian malt whiskey. There it is. Poonie Gold, Gold is the classic style of the Italian malt whiskey, matured exclusively in first fill X bourbon casks. Gold is a fragrant and elegant whiskey with a bright golden color and timeless character. This whiskey was matured in our above ground warehouses where the climatic differences between summer and winter have the biggest impact and accelerate the natural maturation rate. Okay. During cool. its maturation cool. period, gold develops an exquisite and mellow flavor profile defined by a rich sweetness, a harmonious marriage of summer fruits and sweet vanilla completed by a beautiful touch of spicy oak. Cool. 43%. Very nice. And uh, nothing to tell you on the bottle except distilled, matured, and bottled in Italy. There you go. So, no secret, I'm not a huge fan of bourbon cask whiskeys. Really? Yep. This what one? rum casks? Oh god, I don't even want to drink that. But this one is very lovely. It's uh, fragrant and sweet, like honey on the nose. You know what excites me? I smell it. Rocky. I couldn't tell it. No, I wouldn't be able to tell you this was a poonie. Okay, I was going to say. I'm surprised. I thought, I thought he was going to say it smells like poonie. It, but it I doesn't. couldn't though. agree more. It's very soft and very sweet. Unlike most poonies. Yeah. They may be soft, they may be sweet, but there's always a mineralistic quartz limestone in the background. And this one doesn't have that. In all fairness, we've been drinking about, what? 10 or 11 different whiskeys today. Yeah. Now, maybe faintly in the background, but not as prevalent as you've seen. In not on the nose. Movies, right? Let, the let's taste it. Let's see what happens here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Wow, man. Wow. That's Josh, fantastic, man. What if I were to tell you that this was the cheapest? No. <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm calling my memory, but I think this was the cheapest of the ones I've purchased. You must love this, right? I really like this. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm mm. pleasantly surprised. My God, me too. I couldn't be happier! Okay, folks. I'm not out promoting bourbon barrels. Oh, I would endorse this. This is fantastic, man. Well, I'm... Um, um, this could be... This is a contender for surprise of the year. Whoa, yeah. what? I'm shocked as hell at how delicious this whiskey is. I think we should celebrate with champagne. So on the nose, couldn't tell you it was poony. On the taste, oh yeah. That distinct poony character is there, but with this lovely, sweet, Vanilla from the oak, the bourbon oak, and a touch of spice on the end. This is really nice. Very nice. It's very good. Really, very good. And I think this was like 85 bucks. 
Oh my god. <laughs> There's no reason to ever run out. I'm gonna double check. Except so you can check? only get it in Nova Scotia. That's right, for now. Eighty-two oh. ninety-nine. Wow. Yeah. Easy choice. Easy choice. Wow, oh my god. This is so, so, so very good. I would also be interested to see how this paired with a cigar, a lighter cigar, um, because it's very delicate whiskey, very delicate, a touch floral even, but um, with a with a very soft cigar, I uh, might have some really wonderful notes to pair with that, hmm. like an undercrown uh, shade maybe. Yeah, I could see that. You wouldn't want, yeah, you wouldn't want a Maduro with this. No, 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 it would overpower drastically. But. Uh, yeah, the soft sweetness, very, very, the, the the stone fruits in the background. Just that stone. It's bright fruits, like light fruits, white fruits. It's very nice. It's a little bit of citrus even. Well, that's that summer fruits they're mm -hmm. talking about, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't know they said that, because I forgot. I was listening, and then you distracted me. You weren't listening to me as no, I spoke? No, I was nosing, basking in the ambience. And I enjoy what I found there. Very, very, very delicious. It's so first fill bourbon casks, right? So good. Does it say? Yeah, it does. It says it on first fill X bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Weird. Yep. So Folks, come on, man. I named a bourbon cask surprise of the year last year, too, because I'm not usually going to be overly surprised by a dank Oloroso sherry cask. But a, a bourbon cast that I'm like really into, then that's a surprise. This is a total shock and surprise. What a wonderful surprise. I got bucks. friends uh, in Nova Scotia. I'm gonna hit y'all up. Oh, uh, I guarantee you, I'm securing more of these you before this episode has been uploaded. I, I'm gonna need a couple of these. There's gonna be a rush on this. Very good. Yeah. Folks, wow, seriously. Poonie, Poonie, thank you for all that you do. Yep. Why aren't you more popular? More people need the to know. The people don't know. They need to know. How'd you know if no one ever told you, folks? Well, we're here to tell you. You don't stumble on everything you learn. People tell you things. It's okay to ask, right? And if you don't know, it's okay not to know. You know the source? But now you know! You know the source of the information for this? Where? My cousin, Eric Paul. Eric Paul. Also, oh. also known as the Whiskey Detective. The Whiskey Detective. First guy that introduced me to these. He is a lovely, lovely bastard. So good. Eric? Well, for the whiskey detective, Poonie. Poonie, to you, dog, and to you, heathens, y'all. Thanks so much for joining. Mm -hmm. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And thank you for telling your friends about this. Yep, we appreciate it. And thanks for hitting that like button. We like when you like what we like. We love. <laughs> I really do. Wow.